All right, while Julie's in there working on the bathroom walls painting again, I'm going to be working on the, oh. Uh, Cleaned up. Brand new can of paint. I was shaking it up and I went to sit it down and I dropped it. Oh! That's all right. We'll get it. Quite we'll get it. Oh my gosh. And I'm just smearing it everywhere. I'm going to try to wipe it and burst it off. will happen when you're doing these jobs and trust me this is not the first one <laughs> no <laughs> this is not the first one so we're gonna go uh, get some more paint we're gonna need another gallon that was pretty much a whole gallon uh, a brand new can. so can we figure it's got some garbage in it I'm sure we could filter it out later and use it on some projects uh, maybe later down the road but we're not gonna be putting that on the wall no. we'll get another can and uh, she'll get it done and as you can see, she's painting it, and uh, it's it's looking good. I'm glad she decided to put some color on the walls because the white was just too much. So we're off to Lowe's. Okay, back to our blinds. Julie got her paint. She's in there painting. We're doing good. Uh, these are the blinds we are putting up. Uh, they're not a real wood, just a faux wood uh, blinds, and they're actually pretty decent blind so we're gonna get started with our second one because I put up one last night last night Julie and I worked on one up here and there's only five in the house so that makes it pretty nice so we're gonna work on this one here I'm gonna go ahead and put this one up in the living room here and then uh, I'll have three more to go one nice thing about the blinds is they're, they're really not that hard to put up you basically going to mark the center of your window, the center of your blind, and you're going to go ahead and put your two end pieces on. They give you all the hardware you need to mount these is all in this box. Everything you need is here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get the blind marked uh, and the window marked, and we'll start getting them put up. So when I uh, mark these, this is 33 and a half inches wide, so we'll mark it at 16 and three quarter. Uh, that's going to be the half, halfway on your blind. And we'll do the same thing with our window. Okay, I'm going to grab both my end pieces. I'm going to put them on.
we're going to slide them on the ends. And what we're going to do is we're going to hold this uh, blind up to the window and we're going to mark around these where we want them. But we're going to make sure that this mark is in the center. Now that we got it marked, all we have to do is put our end pieces on. So grab one of your end pieces, make sure that the hinge is facing the outside, and we'll go ahead and get one started. I'm using about an inch and a quarter screw, and they come with your kit when you get your blind. So I'll line it up right where I made my marks. We'll do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to try my blind to make sure it fits in the slot. And it fits good. So we're going to go ahead and put the center brace in here. We're going to take the blind back down. Alright, we're going to get ready to put our center bracket in. The piece that they give you for the middle to hold it up in the middle. Now, you're going to notice it's going to have a little indention in this side and a little indention in this side. You're not going to be able to put it directly in the center. You're going to have to put it off to the side of that center. If you put it in the center, there's ropes on the blind, it's going to hit. So I'm going to set it right off to the center here. Okay, I'm going to pull this piece down. It's going to make it look pretty dark in here, but we got to deal with it. So we're going to go ahead and take our blind. We're going to put our blind up here in our slot. Hook our little twisty wand here. Okay, now we got our wand set into place. Now we're just putting these in. We just put them up because we're going to have to move into the house without the frame on it. So it's going to be a while before we get this black walnut dry and be able to build our frames. But this is going to be nice just to have something up to the windows. All right, now that we have all the blinds up, what we need to do now is take some of these off the bottom of here. We don't really need all this on here, 
but I have to tell you, if you take more than five of these off the bottom, you're going to void the warranty on them. So since I'm not really changing oil or anything in these things, uh, I don't really care. So I'm going to take about seven of them off. I'm going to stretch it all the way out, like so. And what they say is you can take a pair of scissors and cut these, but you see what I gave Julie? Yeah. Ten snips. You're not, you're not cutting them with scissors. They're flexible, but they're pretty stiff, pretty hard plastic. And so show them where you're going to be cutting, Julie. Yeah. Okay. Can you see okay? Yeah. So what you're going to do is just where the slot is here, I just cut into it like that. And be, make sure you don't cut any of your strings not yet anyways. So I just do that on both sides and then pull your string through and then take the take the slat out. I'm just going to finish cutting the slats and then I'll take them all out of there. And Julie didn't count either. No. She, she's going to take eight out. Yeah. We changed I, our mind. We're going to take eight. <laughs> I should have started at the bottom and counted, and I didn't. I just started cutting. And well, just make sure that you guys read your owner's manual. You take as many as you want. It, it depends on how bulky you want your lines. I mean, I don't like all the extra. It's useless. Well, the thing is, don't forget, it does void your warranty. So if you yeah. want to keep your warranty, you, you don't want to cut more than five of them. So right. once she gets them cut and pulled out of there, we'll show you how we do the rest of it. Okay, once you have all of the extra slats out that you don't want, the next thing you're going to do, and be very careful with this, you're just going to cut this um, horizontal uh, strings going across. Don't cut these thicker uh, vertical ones. You just want to cut these. So what we do is just go down through the center and cut these. And then cut the one that's connected to the line like that. And then that way that's all freed up right there. So you want to do that on all of these. Yeah, just be very careful that you don't cut that outside cord. This one's a little tougher to get off because they kind of have it on there a little tight, but you can get it with some sharp scissors. parts of it and then I do the other parts but this little plug can be a booger sometimes to get out so I have a small screwdriver here I'm just going to try to wiggle it down into the side of it a little bit and see if I can get it to move and we've ha had a couple of these we couldn't even really get out we tore them up pretty good getting them out and that one there was just a godsend right there <laughs> it just came that right out nice and easy. Yeah. so I'm going to work my way across here and I'm going to get the rest of them the same way, just be gentle with them, be easy, and try to go to different sides. Once you get it moving, I think they're going to come out, but uh, some of them can be uh, frustrating. And that one there was... That one was pretty nice too. Yeah, so we've got one more to do over here. 
and get this guy out. I'm not going to try to really yank too hard on them because I think when you do that, it, it ruins them. Just got to work it out. Mm. Look at that. Yep. That's pretty nice. So now that we have them out of there, what I'm going to do now is up inside, you have a center string right here. This center string comes down. Let's pull these guys out. There's these two on the outside, they'll just come right out. But inside of here is a little black washer. And I need to get that little black washer to come out of there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push down on this line all the way down. And then I'm going to hold down on that a little bit. So I can get a little bit of slack in my hands here. And we're going to push. Here's the little black thing oh, it came out. that okay. we need uh, to pull out. So what I'm going to do is pull it again because I need to get this extended down as far as it will go. And I'm going to put it about where I want that to You want to leave your bottom slat and your uh, next one up. You want to leave about an inch between them, about the same distance between all the other yeah. slats. So we're going to tie that little black thing on there yeah, right yeah. where my fingers are. So let's get this disconnected here. Sometimes it's nice to have an extra hand doing this because it is hard to hold this thing yeah. and to well, tie and everything yourself. These things are, they have them tied in knots, so they're a little hard to get off of here. So, so now I have my black washer down here. I'm going to take this, and it's hard to see, but I'm just going to loop it through it. This is hard to do with one hand, but you can do it. I can do it. It's going to retie it on there. Maybe. Yeah. Do you need me to help you? <laughs> Maybe. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Not right yet. Uh -huh. So we can get this tied on here. Just tie it in a knot so it doesn't come back off. And we're down about right there. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because it's just going to sit on the seal anyways and you're not going to see it, so. All right. Now, just cut the excess string off. I don't know if you can see in the camera. I'm just going to cut it down about an inch off of there. I think it'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, and there it, it goes. just goes right back up inside there. So we're going to do close. the same thing with the other two and then we'll come back and show you how we finish it up. Well, the center one, you don't have. Oh, yeah, the center one. On the, this one. The bigger blind had it on a, three. Yeah, yeah, if you get a bigger blind, sometimes they could be on four of them. So. Yeah. Okay, so we have one more on this one. We're, We're going to go ahead and finish one, it. And then we'll get you back in here and show you how we cut the rest off. Okay, we got our washers put back up inside there. And now what I'm going to do is, see these little fringy things hanging off? I'm going to just cut a couple of them, but like I said, be careful not to cut your uh, string, your rope. I'm only going to do like two down because we're not going to keep all this rope. So just going to clean that up a little bit. Yeah, uh, we're going to get rid of some of this rope because we don't need it all. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and leave about an inch or so. That's about three inches. Oh, right? uh, well, yeah, okay, leave a couple inches so you have enough room to tie and just snip it off. And then we're going to go ahead and tie this in a knot pretty close to the bottom. Tied in a knot, and then you're going to have some string left over. But what we're going to do is we're just going to shove all this back up inside of here. And if you need something small to get it in there, you can use your little tiny screwdriver again. Just push it up in there. And then take your little plastic cap and put it back on. Maybe. Sometimes Kevin has to yeah, do this. Yeah, sometimes this is Kevin's job here, but. Yeah. 
Yeah, just uh, if you can't get it, just use um, something. That thing's slippery. Oh, here, Kevin, that's your job. <laughs> So, so we'll that's that. just how you we'll finish this up. Yeah, we'll continue doing that throughout. Right. And all you got to do is clip those strings off, like she said, tie them in a knot underneath here, push them up in, and put your white yeah, put your, And well, then your blind is ready to go. Yeah, yeah. And if you notice on your little plastic plug, you have two places for the string to go on. There's two little, like, slots yeah. in it. Yeah. If you get them right close to them slots, Pushes in real easy like that. And it's that easy. It's pretty simple. I know it's kind of scary cutting up your new blinds, but if you follow the directions, um, it's it's fairly simple. We've done lots of blinds before, so it's pretty easy. It comes with these little caps, and they just go on the very end here. They just slide in just like that.